This is Inside Iona Sports. I'm your host, Dylan LeBron, filling in from Michael Matalavage. Let's get right into it. After beating Fairfield in the MAC tournament final, the Iona men's basketball team went up against number two seeded Alabama in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Guard Isaiah Ross led the Gales in scoring with 19 points, but it was not enough as the Gales fall to the Crimson Tide 68 to 55. In a post-game presser, head coach Rick Pitino was very confident the Gales would be a better team and made the jump necessary to be a force in college basketball. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for the MAC. Um, it's not easy. These teams are really well coached. Uh, every, every guy I'm impressed with. But So we can't take anything for granted. We just got to improve the program, take the next step, and we will take the next step. There's no doubt in my, own, uh, in my mind that Iona's going to be a force to be reckoned with down the road. We are proud of our Gales and look towards next season to win ourselves another MAC championship. NFL free agency is underway and teams are making an impact early, especially the Patriots. They have made abundance of signings so far, including players such as Kyle Van Noy, Hunter Henry, Kendrick Bourne, Nelson Aguilar, John U. Smith, and Cam Newton. It's safe to say Bill Belichick is not done yet and the Pats want back in the AFC playoff picture. More in free agency, both New York teams are making some moves this offseason as the Giants have signed former Lions wide receiver Kenny Galladay on a four-year deal and have re-signed Leonard Williams on a three-year deal. On the gang green side of things, the Jets bring in former Bengal Carl Lawson on a three-year deal and Titans wide receiver Corey Davis on a three-year deal as well. Free agency is far from over though with some big names still on the market. And lastly, in the MLB, the Mets and Yankees will be hosting fans this season at 20% capacity starting April 8th. This is roughly 10,850 fans at Yankee Stadium and 8,492 fans at Citi Field. Fans attending both stadiums will need proof of a COVID-19 vaccination or take a PCR or antigen COVID-19 test. The Mets will also sell seats in a pod format with clusters ranging from 1 to 6. This brings us to the end of the episode. Don't forget to check out our entertainment and news segments. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. I'm Dylan LeBron, and this has been Inside Iona Sports.